Hello everyone, Spain Rain here, and I'm bringing you a little PFC update thingy, and I'm joined by Cliff. Oh, what's up, guys? And uh, we're here to introduce. You've heard rumors of it. You've you've heard little gangs in backstreet alleys talking about it. No, you haven't. But it's time for the PFC PU tournament, based on our very own PFC PU list, brought to you by the PFC. Not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so uh, this is the list that we've been working on for quite a while. We mentioned it quite a few times. Uh, it's the one that Xenon shouted out. It's pretty much finalized now. Um, we kind of rushed towards the end of it. We, we didn't get to test some Pokemon, but I think we've got a pretty good... We have a pretty good balance going on. We banned the things that we deemed overpowered. We put the things back in that, that, um, that weren't overpowered. Uh, this is mo very likely going to be the final PU thing that we're going to pitch a smoke on and all that. And to celebrate, we um, we decided to throw a tournament. So yep. uh, this is, I suppose, because we kind of rushed a little bit just to get this set up, so we had something to show. This consider this final testing. Yeah. This is the final testing stage, which is why we're going to need you prov to provide your um, replays to us mostly because so we can prove the winner of the matches and secondly so that we can actually look and see overpowered things not overpowered and hopefully ASOF stays up for the remainder of this tournament because <laughs> it doesn't you know just screenshot your um, the victory page and or get the loser to confirm that you won with us stuff like that um, as you can see this isn't the same as our last tournament now, because we we wanted as many games to look at as possible, right, Bane? Yep. Just to uh, just help us out as much as possible. So as you can see here, this is like a normal winners bracket, you know, normal looking like a normal tournament. But as you can see, uh, there's little letters here. Now these little letters actually correspond to every match. So this match here is match M, and that's between. Uh, person number five and person number sixty and the reason that it has a letter corresponding to it is because that letter then corresponds to a place where you go on this bracket which has solemnly been declared the losers bracket the other one is the winners bracket uh, when you lose your game you come down onto this bracket and you do still have the opportunity to win the tournament but obviously you know you, if you lose here, you're out. You have to play more. You have play more yeah. battles here. So I think I worked it out. If you go from round one in the winners bracket to the to the final overall, it's seven battles. And from round one in the winners bracket, losing that and then going to the final from the losers bracket, that is thirteen battles. I think I worked out to be in thirteen. I think so, but I'm not good at math, so I'm not even going to attempt that. Um, or, well, I'm, I'm decent at math, I'm just very lazy. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, as you can see, you have it on screen right now, right? So, mm -hmm. so, as you can see, it's a very big tournament. I think it's 64 people participating. Yeah. Um, now, naturally, if we don't fill up all the spots, you know, we might shrink it down a little bit, but ideally, uh, we want to make it a 64-person tournament. And that means uh, you, little Poke Fight Club trainees, you need to you need to tell your friends, your internet friends, not your real friends. I always emphasize this. Uh, unless they're into Pokemon, if your real friends are into Pokemon, then totally bring them in. We should get Swift. And, and if they're up. very bad at Pokemon, do it too, because then we can like you know. <laughs> then you can get a free win. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. So um, yeah, tell your friends. We're gonna try and get some of the YouTubers to uh, shout it out. We're gonna try and get Po Sim to shout it out. Hopefully, uh, uh, Frank, maybe. You know. even, yeah, now, I know our chisel made a tournament. Me, 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 me. Frankly, this tournament's been sort of like in the plans ever since we started our PU thing, which is well, almost a month ago. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's it, we're not we're not trying to copy him. And keep in mind that this one is balanced PU, right? So you don't have Earth Ring and slacking, running around, fucking everyone in the balls, and you don't have. You don't have like uh, Caracosta shell smashing and one hitting everything with Aqua Jet and then taking out any water absorber in the tier with Stone Edge. So, you know, um, there's there's a bunch of things that we we've done. Um, we banned Baton Baton Pass. Yes, we did. We banned Baton Pass. 
to because you know uh, we deemed it very 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 potent in the tier See, after you know various bat testing. So. Baton pass, baton pass is strong, but not bannable. If we didn't ban baton pass, there would be a lot more pokes we'd have have to have banned because yeah. with baton pass support, they're pretty much untouchable. So we, because we wanted to keep some of these pokes in, because you can use them in other ways other than baton pass, we decided just to ban baton pass because it it stops a whole lot more. You know, it keeps the tier wider, more versatile. Pretty much. Now, um, so that's one of the bands. The other band that we've made is weather weather stones, yeah, weather rocks. The weather. So, uh, uh, icy rock, heat rock, damp rock, smooth rock. Um, all of those are kind of gone just because when you have weather for too long, like say, look at this, look at this example. Um, I send out my Illumise, the dude sends out like his his rocks user or whatever. I set up a sunny day, and see his rocks user is a sanctuary, so I can't do shit, right? I set up a sunny day as he sets up his rocks. I switch into Victor Bell, he's still in Santru for or whatever, using a Stone Edge, something like that. Um, Victor Bell goes for growth, and it's pretty much a sweep from there on out. There's not really much that can take it. Especially if you run mixed victory bell with uh, with weather ball and leaf blade and whatever, so uh, you know to avoid situations like that, we thought it would be more enjoyable if everyone just you know we shortened weather a bit so that you know if yeah. someone sets up the weather and gets a lucky setup on one of our Pokemon, then it's not it's not just like insta forfeit. Yeah, it's a lot easier to stall five turns of weather than it is seven. Yeah. So um, other than that, I think there's standard standard. Uh, Standard uh, Wi-Fi, not, not Wi-Fi, but TO. Standard ladder clauses. So yeah, I think that's standard ladder clauses. Wi-Fi uh, clause. Is it Wi-Fi clause? Species clause, sleep clause, uh, self KO clause are the ladder clauses, and then you're adding in. I'm adding in freeze clause because I mean, frankly, <laughs> freeze clause. It's nothing but hacks, right? If you get frozen twice, two Pokemon get frozen. I mean, it it doesn't. It just frustrates everyone, you know. It makes one guy get angry at the other guy, and it makes him pissed off. And most, in a lot of cases, it makes him lose the game. It's no fun for anyone. I'm not even sure why it's not even part of standard uh, letter clauses, but whatever. It doesn't happen frequently, but when it does happen, it's extremely frustrating. So we thought we'd just ban that. Exactly. In the um, in the description below, you're actually going to see a pastebin link. Uh, that link there will be to. Uh, the, to the list of things that we've banned um, to just clarify um, what PO, PU things are um, you can go on Smogon and look on their PU list and then just compare it to our ban list and then you can generate your team from that I think quite a lot of you would know what's PU by now I think there's been a few PU battles on here so. yeah, if, if you're taking any interest in the tournament uh, you should know by now, and if you don't, then just do what Tom said. Uh, I think you can also visit our pirate pad for uh, a reviewed list. Um, it's not, it's not the final version, or although I probably could change the final version by the time you read this. But um, so yeah, just uh, just the ban list at the moment includes um, Articuno, Ursa Ring, Linoon, Rampardos, Caracosta, Huntail, Hypno, Throw, Rotom Frost, Jumpluff, Jumpluff, Ampharos. Uh, slacking, Shelgon, Regice, Fracture, Glaceon, Golbat, and if you have some beef with that, um, just keep in mind that we've tested these constantly for almost a month now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I myself individually have made a team with at least one of these. I've uh, I've I've used a few of them in my teams, and they are so overpowered. Even even at first class, you might be saying like, "What's this? Rotom Frost is is banned? What is this bullshit? This guy doesn't know what he's talking about." I do not talk about. It. I know much more than you do so you know just sit down uh... get your knickers out of a knot and stop letting your jimmies be rustled stop letting your jimmies, that's it that's the, the philosophy here at the pfc and um... you know just enjoy the tournament right yeah so um, now if, if you if you really have like so actually don't, no never mind I, I didn't say anything i was gonna say if you have like some real beef with something banned you know come complain a bit about being come complain about it to me but don't fucking bother me with that shit, because I'm just going to get angry, and I might bang so. If you've got legit reason, though, we are, I mean, we do have a forums, which I will post down here. If you have a yeah. suspect for a if reason why we shouldn't have banned something, we are still listening to things like that, just because, you know, we can't finalize it yet. We haven't done enough testing, whatever. We will listen to your reasons. If we may have overlooked something, 
we will go we'll hold our hands up and we'll go, okay, yep, yeah, we didn't we didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. We'll put it back for testing. If that if the tournament's already started by then, we can't do anything about it because people have already made their teams. But if the tournament has yes has yet to start and to give it like, I don't know, maybe two day advance or something. If you tell us two days in advance, that's supposed to make sense, right? Yeah, if you tell us two days before the, before, the, before the round one actually yeah. starts, then, then we could possibly change stuff, but... Yeah, if you convince us to change something in the list, then we'll do that, but if if you're just like last minute, oh, you know, Karakosta uh, isn't OP because of this, or Lickitung is OP because of this, um, then, you know, we're just not going to listen to you. Well, we might listen to you for the future, but we won't be able to change anything in the tournament. Yeah, we won't be able to change anything for the tournament, but, you know, do tell us if you've, like, come across something <coughs> during the tournament that you find... You're right. Yeah, sorry, I'm right. <laughs> ...that you find overpowered, and we can look at a lot of replays, see if anybody else has abused yep. this, and then we can ban it and keep this. This is why we're doing the tournament, basically, final testing on certain things, so this will be one of the reasons we're doing it already. So, um, yeah, I think that, that pretty much covers everything, right? Yep. Um, this yeah, is, I think... <laughs> this is also the sign-up video, so comments down below and right. say, yeah. I'm in, and the first 64 people are guaranteed to be in, the next 10 people will be picked as substitutes 1 to 10. Um, I will inbox you if, you're, if you've been declared a substitute, just to let you know to keep an eye on it. And I'll add you guys on Skype just so that if I need to get in contact with you quickly, I can. Yeah. Skype Skype isn't mandatory for this tournament, but it simplifies things easy. Um, yeah. You can make a, accounts are free, so you know, don't be like, oh, I don't want to pay for Skype. The only thing you have to pay for for Skype is Skype Premium, which is like video group calls and stuff. Yeah. Skype you can make for free. So um, I think that's pretty much it. We've covered just about everything. Mhm. Mm uh, anything you want to add, Tom? Good luck, guys. Um, there'll be several of the. I think maybe all of the directors will join. Most of them aren't yeah. that good. No, I'm joking. Like, there's a few of us to look out for. Those if you aren't that good. If you get, if you come across us during the tournament, there's a few of us that are kind of scary that you should be pretty aware of, like uh, Croak and Taiki and but Aaron if, uh, and Bane. But if you come across Kate or Ray, Kate or Brock, then you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> pretty much. Um, and if you sacrifice your little sister to the hex god the the morning before, you should be fine as well. So um, so uh, get those knives ready, everyone, <laughs> and uh, or you know meat grinders. It's preference, really. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I just made this <laughs> extremely creepy. Yeah. Uh, and and good luck with the good luck with the tournament. Yeah, uh, guys. If you um, oh yes. Yeah. I was just gonna say we are also gonna accept if you want to narrate your replay and send it in to us, that would be fine. We will be hosting, we'll be putting up videos from the tournaments from some of the directors and maybe some of you subscribers for the guest days. So, you know, get on it guys, we we love your your videos. Uh, we love your videos, all of them. So, before we bore people to death, sign up below, tell everybody you can or you want, and mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, I, I can't guarantee this, but I know Xenon's interested in our list and he has been helping us to test. Maybe Xenon will even sign up. Maybe you'll get to play Xenon. That'll be fun. Ooh. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys. Uh, I've been Clifton Gazem. And I've been Bane Rain. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao!